how we love our doll fashion packs. Well, isn't that something? This shirt is adorable, Ome! But what do we do with all of the leftover packaging? I have an idea. Let's make a new couch. I went into my recycling bin and pulled out all of my empty Barbie fashion packs. I have four long rectangles and five of the smaller ones. I fill each box with shredded paper, plastic bags, anything to help take up space. So the box has more support. Tape the box closed and repeat until they are all done. Now I notice that the fashion packs are a little thinner than the accessory packs. So I need to make sure they match when building my couch. I'm gonna put two accessory packs together, followed by two fashion packs, then place the smaller boxes along the back. For the design of my couch. This looks like it's going to be a large sectional, so this is going to be great in the dollhouse. Take felt. I'm using a smoke gray. Then take one of the boxes and glue on the felt. I am using a hot glue gun, so adult supervision is required. First, I add glue to the top, then smooth out any wrinkles. Glue down the sides. I am very generous with the glue. I want a lot of contact. Glue the ends, making sure to pinch the fabric at the corners. And I made sure there was a lot of glue around the edges before I glued that side down because I'm going to trim this later and I want it to look nice and neat with no gaps. Once I'm sure the glue has dried, very carefully trim the excess fabric at the corners, making a clean edge. Fold the leftover felt underneath and glue it down to neatly cover the box. Repeat for the other large rectangles to make the seats for the couch. Take the smaller boxes and cover them on all four sides. I am doing the same pinch technique along the corners, sealing it inside. Carefully trim off the excess to make a neat no-sew cushion. Repeat so everything is covered. Now it's time to begin assembling the couch. I glue the two accessory boxes together, then glue the fashion pack boxes on top, glue the smaller boxes around the back, and it's really important that you keep the cushions within the frame of the larger rectangle because the felt adds a little bit of bulk, but if you hold it while drying, it should line up. Add the remaining two cushions on the sides to make a large contemporary sofa. That is a great height for our 10 to 12 inch dolls. Add throw pillows. These are pillow pin cushions I found at Walmart. I thought they were the perfect size to be dollhouse pillows. Or I can make my own pillows using a post-it as a pattern to cut squares of fabric. Take two squares, lay them good side to good side, take a needle and thread, begin sewing around the edge using a straight stitch, leaving a small opening so it can be turned inside out. Add fluff, sew the opening closed to make a small pillow. Make more. I like to fill the couch with tons of pillows. Add a few with designs. Cut a piece of a fluffy material to make a throw to lay over the couch. To complete our recycled sectional sofa that is wide enough for our dolls to curl up and take a nap. I really like this. This is such a great piece. And the gray is a neutral color that can work in almost any doll room. Plus, it's really good at hiding the glue marks. So next time you get a Barbie fashion pack, think about the possibilities. Thank you for joining us. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting!
we want to give a shout out to Maddie Laurel. What's up? Don't you just love Ikea? You know, I could take some great Instagram photos in here. <gasps> Chloe, do you see this couch? I need this in my life. Sophie, where are we gonna put this? And who is gonna put it together? You know all this stuff comes disassembled. We can add on to your, soon to be our room, and I'll put it together. Mm-hmm. Special delivery! Ooh, the new couch is here. Um, Chloe, I'm gonna need a little help. 